Hey there folks, this is Josh Stony Ridge Farmer. Welcome back to another beautiful day here on the Stony Ridge Farm. And today is a day for action. So I say action and nothing's gonna blow up or anything silly like that. Action on my part. I've got to get this building moved from here over to here. Now, how in the heck, <laughs> I've been scratching my head on this for like six months. How in the heck am I going to move a 26 by 36 building? This is a steel shed. We're going to go in. We're going to show you the building. We're going to show you how it's constructed. And I've got an idea. So come along today as we show you how to either screw up moving a building like this or how to do it the right way <laughs> so i'm learning man i'm like you guys i watch tons of youtube videos on this trying to figure out the best way to do it and i came up with a pretty cool idea so come along let's have some fun here on the stony ridge today Woo! i ain't afraid to work i ain't afraid to play i ain't afraid to get the job done to do it my own damn way i ain't afraid to lie times like this If you mess with my freedom I'll tell you just what you can kiss That's right all right, folks, welcome to the Stony Ridge Farm. If this is your first time or your 50 millionth time here, please pound that like button, jump in, subscribe to the channel. I'd love to have you back. This is Red Yoda, and Red Yoda has something that's going to be ideal for what we're going to try to do today. Um, so my idea, and I've got six of these pieces of pipe right here. This is 3-inch SS40, Schedule 40 uh galvanized pipe and this is what we use for our fences here on the farm so these are driven down they're six feet tall they're driven down into the ground below grade and welded up as a brace i'm not going to hurt these posts by dragging them underneath this building so my idea is to take we'll just take one post and lay it out here so you guys can see they're pretty heavy oh yeah um so my idea here is to take these poles just like that and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna raise this building up and I'm gonna set it on three of those posts going down each side so one two three on that side and one two three on this side I've got some stuff in here all I got to do is move that stuff to the center of the building now how in the world <laughs> am I going to get this in the right position where it needs to be and level? This building is tall, man. I, uh, my reach is eight foot. So that's 10 foot tall right there at the eaves. It's a tall building. The reason we have to move this is because a new shop building is going to go right here, a bigger shop building. You can fit like four of these inside of it. But I don't want to throw away this building. I don't want to crush it. I don't want to sell it. I want to use it. I want to use it for tractor storage, uh, for storing those things that just don't get used very much, and for hay storage. It's a great hay storage building for the farm. So without further ado, my plan is to unbolt. There are mobile home anchors right here. You can see I've got a camera down there. There's a mobile home anchor there. There's another mobile home anchor there and another one. That's just a, basically a big corkscrew. I think it's a corkscrew. It may be a spade, I'm not sure. I'm not just uh, totally sure. So they're all bolted in. I'm gonna pull those bolts out. I'm gonna get up underneath this with the pallet forks on Peanut, the skid loader right over here. I'm gonna raise one side up and hopefully raise it up high enough to pull the pins. There are pins that are holding this thing in the ground. That's what I'll resecure the building to the ground with over here. It's been really windy, guys, and wind is a huge factor. This thing is a giant sail. So <laughs> when the wind is whipping and blowing 20 miles an hour, you don't want to be moving this building. So what I got to do, get it all prepped up. Hopefully by the end of the day today, the wind will calm down just a little bit by sundown, and I'll be able to hook to this probably with a chain or just push it on these pipes. So that's my goal. Let's see how it goes. All right, let's get busy.
here's what we got. <laughs> and the audio might not be too good right now, but I've got two chains hooked up to the uh, building right here. One chain hooked to the second pillar there, one chain hooked to the second pillar there, and both chains attached to the uh, pallet forks here. We're just gonna raise them up and see what happens. Either we learn how to screw up right now or we learn how to move a building. It's like to me we're learning how to move a building. Yeah, Daddy. Nice. Oh, baby. So it's working, but um, I have to hop out, unhook the chains, and you can see this wall is leaned in pretty, pretty significantly right there. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna lift up, get that wall back out on that piece of pipe there, and the other wall. So basically the wall's tried to pull inward. I could have braced it, but I think we're gonna be okay. We're only about 20 feet from where we need to be, but you can see this one really pulled and bowed a little bit. Uh, again, this is a hay shed. This isn't a Trump Taj Mahal, so I'm not too awful worried, but I'm gonna go ahead and raise up uh, these sides and make sure they're all squared up real quick. It's working.
Now, fuel tank said I had a quarter of a tank left in here, and I think I just ran dry of diesel. <laughs> While the building is up in the air right here. Hopefully we don't get any strong winds tonight. Oh, all right, add another monkey wrench to the situation here. Frank, my loader operator, will be back here tomorrow to give me a helping hand. What we gotta do is make sure that each one of these walls is absolutely level, and that'll be easier to do with two people. So I'll have the skid loader right here, which just ran out of fuel. Oh, I can't believe it ran out of fuel. I had a quarter of a tank of fuel in there, and it, the light came on and bam, it was just out of fuel. So <laughs> we're at a stopping point today. I'm actually probably gonna go ahead and drive in a couple of the stakes. I uh, didn't really injure the building at all, except for where I was pushing right there. Got a little bit of a bend, a little tweak, but not bad, not bad at all. The predominant wind that blows through here will blow from west to east. So I really don't have to worry about it going anywhere tonight. I think it'll be just fine. Winds in the morning are supposed to be two miles an hour all the way till 1 p.m. So I gotta solve this problem before it gets dark, guys. Thanks a lot for joining me here on the Stony Ridge Farm. That's how you move a building. That's fun. That's a good time right there. I had a great time doing that. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any pointers, any questions, post them. I'd love to hear from you. Thanks a lot. Jump in, subscribe to the channel. I'd love to have you back here on the Stony Ridge. I'm getting ready to put the mega shop here. The reason I need to get this out is so we can bring some dirt in. Tomorrow we're bringing in 10 or 15 loads of dirt right here to build this up. Awesome. See you next time. Woo! Come on down to the Stony Ridge. Bring your wife.